Hello and welcome to Let's Play 13 with me, Bring It Dawn. Uh, 13 was released in November of 2003, uh, being developed by Ubisoft Paris and published by Microids. It is a first person shooter with a really neat comic book aesthetic. It is a game that I played back on the PlayStation 2 when it first came out. I never managed to beat the main story uh, because I spent most of my time playing the multiplayer mode against bots. Uh, so a lot of this will be new to me as we proceed through the main story. Uh, being as old as it is, uh, playing on modern hardware does have some drawbacks. It doesn't support mo uh, modern native resolutions, and it doesn't have native controller support uh, through digital retailers. Uh, there are some workarounds for that. I have some links posted down below. Uh, I myself am not using a mod, but I will have a link to a mod down below that helps fix some of those issues. I just went in and changed some of the files so I can play this in 1920 by 1080 without it being stretched out. Also, there was a remake of this game, I think, in 2020. If you go to buy this game, make sure that you buy the classic version. It's cheaper, it's better, and I think that's the last I'm going to mention the remake in this series. So, without any further ado, let's jump into a new game. Let me make sure the difficulty is where I want it. We'll play on realistic, I think. Now, I still have to use mouse and keyboard to navigate menus. But once I'm in game, I can use a controller because uh, I do have a controller configuration uh, downloaded for the game through Steam. So let's go jump in. Think your FBI paper pushers are a match for Sheridan's assassins, Amos? I don't. Keep your opinions to yourself, General Carrington. As you know, we can't proceed with the investigation without proof. No one can stop me from conducting my own investigation, you hear me, Amos? Number 13 will soon no longer be a problem. operations. Frank, it's Janet. I've just finished my rounds. Do you still need me in this area? Okay, I'll head back to HQ. Feels like today's gonna be a quiet one, huh? Did you see the water this morning? Hold on. I'll call you right back. Sir, can you hear me? Easy. Looks like a bullet wound. Can you move your legs? Thing. Do you think you can make it to the truck? Oh yeah, because I'm not using a native resolution for the game, uh, the little voice boxes look like they're going to be a little off, like more to the left than they normally would be. I think they still bordered the edge of the screen. Also, if there are any control prompts, they'll probably be incorrect since 
I'm using a controller. I'm forcing the game to use a controller. And this is not what the game actually looks like. We're just injured, so. The right old copter. I remember. They find you. Get off the boat. Now. Kim here. Do you read me? Search on the cabins. <clears throat> Alright. There we go. Don't let him get away. Shoot him. Jump ship, hurry. I'll pick you up on the other side. I'll take you to the first aid station. Try to walk. Be careful. Damn it. You're feeling faint. Helen, it's Janet. I just picked up an injured man on Brighton Beach. He's got no idea and can't remember a thing. I need to bring him in for a CAT scan as soon as possible. An hour? Perfect, we're on our way. How are you feeling? Still no memory? I found this key in your pocket. Ever heard of Winslow Bank? Here. Who's that? First weapon, the throwing knife. Yeah, not a good time. Tell the Mongols we spotted the target. I'll report them. Get over here. He's alive, but in bad shape. Freeze. There we go. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. That's one of the cooler features of this game. Is that you can, uh, when you get headshots like that, it's, uh, there's that little cinematic comic book strip at the top of the screen. Pretty neat. He did not want to go down. How many shots did I put in that guy? Alright, let's try that again. <laughs> I forgot that I'm playing on realistic. So let's take it a little slower. I should probably use this med kit too. There we go. I should use this instead. There we go. So if you get headshots, it's a lot easier. This would be easier with the mouse and keyboard, but again, for the sake of, uh, sound quality, I'm gonna use the mouse and keyboard instead. Or, sorry, controller. Poor Janet. She's never gonna answer. And you can't pick up, uh, mundane, some uh, mundane objects and use them to knock people unconscious. Let me try something real quick. Oh. Come on. Why not the best weapon for this? Let's uh, swap to... There we go. Much more accurate. 
to get to 100 health since I am playing on a harder difficulty. I don't trust myself. Give me more 9mm than uh, 44. Hey, it's 44. Oh, yeah, it's not going to go down. How's this realistic? Running at me with a knife? <laughs> Listen, they got a suicide mission. He must have drew the uh, sword straw. Check these boats, see if there's any first aid kits laying on them. I don't see anything. There are some secrets you can find. I think, like, documents and stuff you can find laying around. As well, so. It's worth it keeping your eye out for, but I'm not going to bother trying to find all of them. I mean, I will search for them. But if I don't find them all, it's not going to be a huge deal. Ugh, come on. Controller. A little sensitive. Might have to adjust that. <laughs> that guy's combat rolling out from behind the shack. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it's worth doing it once around, making sure... There we go. See, first aid kits. Having the, plenty of those is always a uh, good idea. To the strong room, do not kill the bank staff. Mr. Roland? It's been such a long time. I assume you want to access your safe? Yeah, that, that'd be nice. May I have your key? <clears throat> right this way, please. As you can see, we've upgraded our security system. You can't be too careful in today's world, right? That's a very thick door. Hello, James. Mr. Roland would like to access his safe. Hello, Mr. Roland. <laughs> it's still at the far end of the room. It was very chipper. Hello, Mr. Roland. Call me when you're ready to come out. I forgot the key number. It was like 608. Oh, here it is. The timer. Only 
incriminate all of them from number 20 to number one. What do you plan on doing on that boat? Confidential, huh? Oh, I get it. Well, if it's another one of that girl's ideas, I'd watch her six. She's nothing but trouble. Go ahead. Set the bomb. Uh, nothing. Don't worry about it. I've fallen into my own trap. that thank you let's try and be sneaky because I don't know if the guards count as bank staff I assume that they do so let's play it cautious here we go around with a chair like this has to be exhausting. <laughs> oh, I can't go that way. Just sneak across. Can I get through this door? Don't panic! Please, stay calm! Slowly but surely. Don't turn around, buddy. Don't turn around. Huh? What'd I tell you? Should've listened. Let's see if he comes over this way. He's gonna kill me. Darn it! <laughs> he shot as soon as he came around. <laughs> oh, this is not as hard as I'm making it out to be. All the way back well, here. Well. I don't... Oh. That's fine. I know what I need to do, so it'll be okay. Let's take it a little more slowly. Now that I know where everybody's positioned. Alright. <laughs> this is gonna be rough. I need to get used to these controls. Because they're a little they feel a little off. I was assuming that you could one tap them from the begin or from the front with like a chair. But it turns out it does have to be from behind. Should make it a little more tedious, but that's fine. I don't know if he's going to see me when he comes past the corner. He sure isn't. Alright, good. The stealth in this game is a little better than I remember it being. I was probably just bad at the game. <laughs> Back when I first played it. Huh? 
Yeah, go reload your gun, dummy. Nice way to grab this. Door is locked. I just want to check some of the doors, see if there's any secrets lying in wait for me. It doesn't say it's locked, but that's... Thank you. Ashtray is over here. Any documents or anything I can pick up? Medkit, a lot of come in handy. If there's gonna be a secret in here, it'd be behind his portrait. Where the hell is he? Anything on your side? No. over here I think so let's go grab that this is a really good level to introduce the stealth mechanics though I really like the layout and design of it So this room should be clear. We can check for documents and stuff on the shelves and whatnot. Well, I didn't see anything. It didn't look super hard. I don't even know how to get out of here. <laughs> Is it through this door? Nope. I probably missed something obvious then. Like this gate. Or grate. Everything I need. Don't move. Nice, you cannot turn your back to them. They will open fire. Which is still an awful idea considering. They're using 44s. Hey, hey! And a 44 would go clean through someone at that range and hit the person that they're holding, so that's a terrible idea.
Apparently they care about the hostage. Change the uh, med kit. How do I get rid of her? Alright, I'm assuming she's just unconscious. <laughs> Alright, we're not in great shape. Let's hope we can find a med kit. A shotgun. <sighs> Alright, I do want to go back. Can I get back out this door or is it going to stop me? There's ammunition out here and potentially a med kit. Oh, that must have been a big, big med kit. So it healed me up for a hundred. All right, the game's starting to come back to me now. It has been a long time since I played. What, 17, 18 years? So even then, I wasn't good at it. Not a lot's changed since then, it seems. Sucker. So you don't hesitate. You pull the trigger, man. You even added that you don't feel like a killer. How touching. But the law doesn't operate on feelings, now does it? It operates on evidence, which I have in spades. Emory, the snapshots, please. Look at this photograph. See the impact on the back of the head? Where did the bullet come from, in your opinion? That building there, see? Right in the line of sight. And who have we here? Well, need I get a mirror? Or are you finally going to confess to the assassination of... Agent Scott, line one. So where's that file? I'm not going to believe this, Colonel. Steve Rowland's military file is missing from the Pentagon. And they're positive your man was killed in a mission down in Mexico over two years ago. Well, his widow's in for a surprise. But before we announce your resurrection, Captain Rowland, we're going to... What the hell's going on here? It's a weird way to simulate an explosion. out of those cups. Great to see you again, Steve. Thanks, uh, you too? Listen, Mongoose has found you. Meet me on the roof. 
and don't go using G-Men for target practice, okay? Okay. Any reason to open these up or not? I'm gonna assume not. I don't see anything of note, so. On his desk, anything to grab? Terrorism and top secret. Hey, Ubisoft. That's who made the game. I'll grab one of these guys. Anything else I can grab in here? Documents or anything? No. Oh, there's a document. I think I'd rather have a chair. It feels like it hits harder. Even if that's not the case. Hold on. They just blew up the door. What? Do they realize who they're messing with? <laughs> what? All right. Game over. Okay. Come here, you. Well, I got a full med kit at least. Did I miss anything in here? Just the one guy had a gun. Alright, see, so yeah, definitely worth checking out some of these shelves then. Alright, cool. All set. Whoa! Hey, chill out, buddy. I should have just snuck past. You guys are gonna light me up. Oh no! Sorry, I found found a backup plan. Oh, what is he doing in here? See you later. <laughs> I was hoping for another checkpoint, because I don't know how the save system works. I can manually save, but I don't know if it's going to just put me back at the last checkpoint or not anyway. Might be worth going out and taking this guy out, and then trying to get into one of these other rooms. See if there's anything else tucked away. Do a little bit of exploration as we go through. I'm taking unnecessary damage, but it might be worth it. If we find documents and other med kits and stuff. No way to know for sure. I feel like a headshot. Oh, panic shot. There we go. Okay, even on uh, realistic, these guys are not. Very accurate. Good to know. One more peek back out here because there was another door I thought back here. Alright, cool. 
Coast is clear. We got a shotgun. That's worthwhile. And checkpoint, right? Perfect. Alright, I'm gonna call the episode here. The next one will continue our escape from the I guess FBI headquarters. I was gonna say police station, but that's the FBI. Either way, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.